Okay, so you're gonna need a couple of things. So again, you're gonna need your red guard. This is really expensive to get in the, to get a big container, but it's about the same price as paint for the one gallon. Um, obviously, I think one gallon should hopefully be fine. You're probably gonna want a paintbrush, and um, I've also got a paint roller that I'm gonna be using. Um, I lined my um my painting bin when oh my god my roller bin thing with um I, I am using some plastic bags just to keep the mess to a minimum i've got my thing that the roller goes on um the other thing you're going to want you're going to want painter tape painter's tape a really good mask because it smells and something to cover your clothes okay so there's two other things you need um you do want to protect your hands as well, so wear some gloves. These are um, dual layer nitrile gloves, um, which was what was recommended. And you also want to sort, use some sort of six inch membrane fabric that helps waterproof. This goes over um, gaps like towards the top and um, there's probably areas that should probably go over here, including gaps like right here along the So, okay, so let's get started. Pretty basic if you've ever painted, kind of the same idea. You can also apply this using um, a trowel and or an airbrush apparently or paint sprayer probably. It needs to be a certain PSI, but I'm not gonna do that because this is cheap, easy, and less than a year. I started out by taping my um, canvas drop cloth over the bathtub so that none of the red guard would drip down and get into their brand new bathtub and be a possible issue for removing um, removing it or cleaning it afterwards. So um, this did a pretty decent job. The next thing you're doing is you're just applying your red guard. This is pretty easy. Um, you can paint it on, you can use a roller. I found the roller was a little bit difficult to use. I I thought the paintbrush was a little easier personally, but um, the roller just, it seems like there's like a lot of um, bumps and stuff inside the um, cement board. So I felt like it didn't really get into those cracks as well. So I used a paintbrush for most of it. At this point, I wanted to add the mesh barrier, whatever. And as you can see, I put a little red guard on, put the barrier on, and then painted more red guard on top. And make sure you don't leave any empty gaps. And you're going up and down vertically as well along the corners. Here's a close up of one of the corners. Once it's dry, it'll look red, like you see on the left, and when it's still wet, it will look pink, like you see in this corner. I decided to do two layers of red guard. You don't wanna go, go with too many layers because it'll be too thick, but um, two layers seem to be the minimum that you wanna do for this project. Once that red guard is dry, you are able to start applying your tiles. I have a separate video on how to install these tiles on my YouTube channel and um, also on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. These snap together and kind of overlap so you don't have to grout them and um, they actually work pretty well. Um, to see the finished project, please check out my blog, DIYDanielle.com.